Hi students, uh, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in the subject embedded systems was thumb architecture. So actually we are discussed about the there are different types of arm uh, will be there the processors. Uh, it may be the arm or the thumb or jazz. So let me uh, before going to enter into the thumb architecture, let me give the overview why uh, what's the use of this thumb. Actually, the ARM code supports three states of operations. We know that. Actually, the ARM core supports three states of operation. So, whatever the processor we are taking, the whatever the microcontroller we are taking. So, if it is an ARM, that ARM can support uh, three types of, uh, three states of operations. Means, based on your configuration, you can uh, prefer any of this uh, state. So, one was the ARM, it's a default. Okay, the default uh, controller that we will get is the ARM, advanced risk machine. And another state of operation is a thumb. So, if you want to choose the thumb uh, state of operation, you need to select the controller as ARM7, T is for thumb, DMI controller you have, you need to select. And the next is the gel. Jezel. So, here each of these modes will have their own instruction set. So, whatever there is a state of operation you are taken, they have their own instruction sets. So, we already seen the instruction set of the arm. Okay. So, and the thumb is having their own instruction set. Jejel is having their own instruction set. And choices can be made with the CPISR as usual. So, whatever this, because we are using the ARM core. So, this ARM core uses the, the main uh, register set that is a CPSR. Okay. So, this is a CPSR. So, with the help of the CPSR, you can make a choice. That is a CPSR is nothing but the current program status register. It's a current program status register. So, in that current program status register, you need to make some choices. So, the choices, based on the choices, we can select the arm, thumb, jajal. So, this, if suppose if uh, uh, in CPSR, you are having a T bit. So, just go through that uh, CPSR uh, instruction set. It's a 32 bit instruction. So, in that instruction, you will get one of the bit as a T bit. If the T bit in CFS, uh, CPSR is uh, 1, okay, if the T bit is 1, then the mode of operation referred as a thumb. Then it referred as a thumb. So, when the T bit is 0 in CPSR, Okay, then the mode of op operation is arm is selected. TBT is 0 means arm selected. If TBT is set, then the thumb will be selected. Then when we will select the this type of operation. So, Zizzle is a state which helps in increasing the efficiency of Java based operations. So, mainly for Java programs or operations. We will use result. So, this state is going to helpful in increasing the efficiency of Java based operations when run with ARM code. So, this uh, result is based on the 24 bit in CPSR. Okay. So, in the CPSR, if 24th bit is equal to 1, then it is result. Okay. So, these are the states of operations, arm, thumb, chisel. So, the arm we already discussed. Now, let's see the thumb. So, a thumb. So, why we using this uh, architecture? What are the main features of using this? So, instead of using the normal arm uh, core, why we are going for the thumb? Actually, the arm family grows to include the arm 7, which extends the architecture to full 32 bit addressing okay so it's just a full 32 bit addressing it increase the maximum clock rate so the, the thumb is going to increase the it increase the it increase the maximum 
clock rate so up to uh, it's a 40 uh, megahertz and it is going to expand the cache to 8 kb so when compared to the arm the thumb is expanded expanded option with the cache to 8 kb okay and here the arm 7 architecture has an optional feature like uh, so uh, whatever i taken that is a uh, that arm 7 architecture has an optional feature like the thumb so a thumb is a combination of new instruction thumb is a combination of new instruction instruction set with 16 bit long instruction format 16 bit long instruction format so it is having a new that i am saying this it's a combination of new instruction set with 16 bit long instruction format and a hardware logic unit hardware logic unit will be present that has a that has it in the instruction fetch path and the translated thumb instruction translated thumb instruction which is used to uh, at to regular and full 32 bit length arm instruction full 32 bit length arm instruction okay so a thumb is a combination of new instruction set with the, that new instruction set with 16 bit long instruction format a hardware logic unit a translated thumb instruction to regular and the full 32 bit length arm instruction so thumb is rather a clever feature that addresses a very little complexity so it is a clever feature when compared to this arm uh, microprocessor unit only about the 3000 transistors will be present in thumb so thumb improves arm instruction density the thumb is going to improve these are all the different features okay so the thumb improves for these reasons we are preferring thumb when compared to the arm 7 thumb improves arm instruction density by about 25 percent to 35 percent about 25 percent to 35 percent and not only that uh, but it's system in system in system with 16 bit wide memory an arm 7 would run application would run and application compiled into thumb whatever the application that is in that is compiled into thumb faster than faster than effect had been completed had been compiled sorry for 32 bit arm code so this was the operation so the thumb is going to improve the arm instruction density by about 25 to 35 percent and not only that it is going to be uh, here the system with 16 bit wide memory and arm 7 uh, would run an application compiled so whatever the application they are taking that is compiled into the thumb faster than if it it had been compiled for 32 bit arm so when compared to that the thumb is going to be increase the application running uh, time of application faster than the arm code okay so this is uh, just uh, this arm architecture and uh, here you can see a overview of this arm architecture this is logical circuit so this circuit is connected to the arm instruction decoder so the arm instruction decoder we have seen that uh, in the picture like uh, 
whenever I explain about the arm architecture, so in the arm architecture, you have seen that everything, whatever the barrel shifter, ALU, address decoders, and this uh, address bus, data buses, and uh, register bank, everything will be present. So the, whenever that arm, uh, the microcontroller is in arm state, arm core state, that uh, circuit will work. So if you want to work on the thumb, so you need to connect this logical circuit. The circuit you need to be connected. Okay. So the circuit is just uh, here the address bus is there from 0 to uh, 32. It's a 32 bit long bus. So here 31 to 16 is data bus. 30, 31 to 16 is connected to one of the multiplexer. And the 15 to 0 another 16 16 bits is connected to multiplexer one end and another 16 bits is connected to the end end of multiplexer okay so it is going to be decoded whatever the multiplexer you are going uh, operation that is performing that converted sent to the thumb decompo decompressed logic so with the help of this decompressed logic uh, it executes the instruction as fast as it can okay when, when it is going to be executed, whenever the thumb is enabled, the thumb enable it is a T bit which is connected to this CPSR. Okay, it's an instruction. Means the CPSR is an instruction where it can, the processor can identify the thumb is enabled by seeing the T bit. So whenever this bit is one, it uh, takes that immediate data and send that into the ARM instruction decoder. It is going to be converted into binary bits. It decodes the instruction. Okay, so this is an overview of this uh, arm, uh, sorry, thumb architecture. Thank you.